Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be going over how you can change your mouse cursor. Now it is a pretty simple thing, so it's not gonna take a long time. However, I just wanna showcase how you can go about creating one as well as uh, setting like another mouse cursor so you can change between them. There are many ways that you could go about doing it, but I'll just show you the functionality about it and you can implement it however you so choose. Uh, but mainly it's just to make sure you know how you can implement a new cursor as well as just changing it. So yeah, let's get into it. And a bit of a disclaimer, I am using two images I got from itch.io. These are not images that I created. I will have the link in the description if you wanted to grab those and use them yourself. I believe that they are free to use, but always make sure to check the copyrights so that you don't have somebody get you in trouble in the future or something. Whatever it is, always make sure you're safe. Anyways, in this video, I'll be using those two images. Now, creating a custom cursor is actually pretty straightforward. There's not a lot to do. However, I just wanted to make sure there was a video out there that was straightforward without overly explaining things. So what we're gonna do is go to Edit and Project Settings. From the Project Settings, the easiest way is just to type in cursor. It ends up being the second option under Software Cursors. This is pretty simple to where it allows us to select on a widget and then we use that widget as our cursor. And then within that widget, we just keep it very simple. So what we want to do is scroll down and under engine, you'll see user interface. And this is also where you'll find it if you don't want to do the whole search option. I'll just type cursor, it's super simple. And it's pretty easy to remember. So with software cursors, if we hit the add element like we would for any other array, we have two options. On the left is essentially a drop-down list of all of the mouse options. Now, if you've ever looked at mouse cursors, you may seem familiar with this. What we can do is actually go into a controller. So I have some test stuff set up. I don't have a controller, but we should be able to grab the player controller here and get mouse cursor. So if we were to do, or let's, let's do set actually. Set mouse cursor, you'll notice that this is the exact drop-down menu. And what you would do is that under the player controller, you can change the mouse to whatever one that you have set. So seeing as this enum list matches exactly what's shown here, what we do is we will replace any of these cursors with a UI that we specify. So by creating our own, we can then change all of these. And then whenever we were to set the mouse cursor to anything new, we'll be able to use whatever we have in our project settings. So for our default one, we are gonna want to create a UI, which is going to allow us to change the default. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that plus button. Uh, looks like that isn't even gonna work. So instead we'll just manually do it since Unreal doesn't like to do things. So under this pre-made folder I made, we're gonna do blueprint class. We're gonna keep this nice and simple and just use a user widget and hit select. We're just gonna call this cursor underscore default. And within this, you technically could do an overlay, throw that down and then grab an image and throw that down and fill that if you want, or let's delete that and just paste the image. So that's nice and simple. And what we want to do is change this image to our cursor. And what it'll do is now we have a very simple widget. Let's also change the image size because whatever this size is, is actually what's gonna appear for your game. So actually let's not change the size so I can show you. We're gonna go ahead and look for the default cursor. So cursor, and then I'm gonna hit play. And we'll notice I have a huge cursor. Ignore the rest of the UI, that's from a different video I'm just reusing for example purposes. Uh, but yeah, you'll notice we have a very huge cursor and let's say we don't want that. Let's go ahead and close that. Go back over here. I'm gonna change this to uh, 2525. Super simple, go back over here 
and now we have a much smaller cursor. It looks a bit more reasonable as we're hovering through. So super quick, very simple. Now let's go about changing the cursor. I kind of already demonstrated that by showing you how we do it here. But what I'm gonna do is that within the UI I have made, so I'm gonna go into the buttons. So all the buttons that you saw on the screen that I previewed, we're gonna go into here. And for the hovered and unhovered, I'm actually going to take this, cut it, and I'm gonna go back into this button and paste it. So you can just do get player controller and then drag off and do set mouse cursor. What I'll do is that I'm going to set this when it's hovered to something else. And then when it's not hovered, back to the default. Now I haven't set anything else up, so I need to first do that. So I'm gonna go into the project settings. We'll do this one more time. And let's just change the, let's go with the hand. And then we're gonna then go back over here. And then what we could do is copy this. And we'll just do hand. And you can then just change this image to the second image and do 25 by 25. Go back into our project settings. We're gonna then change the cursor again to hand. Now I'm gonna go back to the button. I know I'm going through a lot, uh, but just try to follow along, slow it down if you need to. And then I believe we said hand. So then we'll do complete. Let's go into project settings. Yeah, it was hand. I'm gonna close these two images and then we hit play. And what we do is now when we hover, my cursor changes. And when I unhover, it goes back to the default. So like that, we have a very, very simple cursor. And that is really all you need to know about cursors. Now, the next part is I'm just gonna show you a little something that you could do uh, just to make it a bit easier on yourself in the future. So you know how we do this image here? So I'm actually gonna change that to image. And instead of setting this here, I'm gonna go ahead in the pre-construct, grab the image, set brush from texture. We're gonna promote this to a variable. We can just leave it as texture. And what you can do is under this variable now, just drag in this. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the cursor hand widget that we made. So deleting this, I'm gonna create a new widget based on the cursor if I could spell cursor default, and we'll name this cursor hand. Open that up, and then we're gonna go ahead and drag that in. So now back to our project settings. I'm just gonna re-click it just in case. And hit play, and we have the exact same functionality, but now, if we were to ever create a new widget, we can go ahead and go into our cursor, do control C, control V or control D. And we could do like grab hand. And then when you open that up, you can then change this to another texture as you so choose. They will all remain the size of 25 because they are our children deriving from this. So that's just a little tip that you could go about doing. It's a little bit extra. You didn't have to watch this part, but yeah, super simple, super quick. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching guys.